Today we're going to look at HStack, VStack, and ZStack in SwiftUI and how to use them to organize your views. All I've done here is create a basic SwiftUI iOS application and hit resume on the preview and you see that we have our hello world text box. So let's say in our project that we wanted to create another text box right next to this hello world one. Well, you might think that you would just copy and paste and then put it like that. But the way this works is now you'll see that we have two different previews, one for each hello world. And if I change this to hello cheddar, you'll see that the second one will change and the first one will stay the same. And basically what's happening here is the body property is expecting that we're just gonna have one view. And since text is a view, and then this text box is also a separate view, we have two separate views, which is why we're getting two different preview contents here. So to get around this and to better organize our text boxes here, we can create a HStack, a VStack, or a ZStack. And in our case, since we want both of our text boxes to be side by side, we will use an HStack. There's a couple different ways of doing this. The first way would be to type out HStack like this, and then put an open and close brace like that, copy and paste, and there we go. Now we have both side by side. And you'll see in our preview on the right here, when we click this H stack, we have the whole box here. And you can click the left one, shows us our hello world on the left, and we click the right one, shows hello cheddar. You'll notice the box is smaller because we don't have padding. So if we add padding onto that, it will become larger. And just to prove that they are indeed separate, you can type a background in here, and we'll add a background with a color dot orange. And now you have a clear one and an orange one. Let's give the left box a separate background color. Now what happens if we want to add another section below this, almost like a table? Well, again, you might think that you would copy this and paste it in like that, but we're going to have the same problem as before, because HStack is one view and another HStack is another view. And again, to prove the point, we'll put hello salad here and now we have hello salad hello cheddar hello world and hello cheddar so we got two separate views two separate previews so to embed our h stack into a v stack hold command and click on the h stack button and embed in v stack now we can cut this and paste it in just like that now we have two H stacks within a V stack. Now let's give our V stack a background just like we did with our H stack. So we'll use the cyan color for this. And you see it only fills in these gaps. And that's because we want to add padding again, just like the other ones. And now if we want to add a background image, we can using a Z stack. So let's hold command and click our V stack. And add embed in Z stack. And then inside of our Z stack, we can create an image view with a system name. And I'm going to paste our system name for earbuds case fill. Now, because we have the image above our V stack in order in our editor here, the image will be behind. And on the right in our preview pane, we can see a small blue square representing the image, but it is behind our VStack view. So let's add resizable, which will make it way too big. And then we can add scaled to fit. We can add some more padding. We can also add another background color dot green. And if we wanted to add one more image in front of our VStack, we would scroll down in our ZStack below the VStack, so below all our padding and background, and we can add another image here, system name, and we'll do AirPods Pro. Again, you see that it's a little bit too small, so we could add resizable, scale to fit. Now let's change the color of the pods by using the foreground color modifier. We'll say color.yellow, and now let's add some padding. So padding, and we will put 80 padding. So just to reiterate, for a Z stack, it goes from top to bottom in terms of back to front. 
for the order. So if we cut this image and paste it behind our VStack, it will appear behind. Hopefully that helps clarify things with Swift UI stacks, and maybe you'll be able to use this for some of your projects in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.